Okay, guys, so we are going to look at Aiden Breland out of Modern Day High School, one of the best uh, programs in high school football. And Modern Day is based in Santa Ana, California. This is junior year tape 65290, Aiden Breland. And Breland can line up like right here. He's kind of lined up as like a five technique, I want to say, uh, right here. Uh, like maybe a four. I think it's a four technique. Anyway, utilizes his hands and finishes the play. So let's just watch it in full speed and then we'll go back and, and, and see it. Um, I like the intensity after, after he makes the sack. So Breland, I mean, look at this play. I love how, you know, he runs here and then it only takes like one little swipe and the guy's down. Sorry, I'm going to move this out here. All right. Oh, right there is perfect. So Breland going to rush, going to rush, going to run into the quarterback. Like literally just puts his paw on him and the guy is down for the count. Breland doesn't get blocked, makes a violent, violent tackle, swings the running back to the ground. Good decisiveness. Breland is powerful, utilizes his lower body, utilizes his hands really well. Like you talk about opening the door, that's exactly what he does. It's kind of like what you teach in, in, uh, in practice, which is, you know, the swing through move, which is keep your, you know, keep your feet, move, keep your legs driving right through contact, keep your legs driving, utilize leverage late, and then swing that right arm propel that right arm to then get that left arm to come free and then finish that play. And really good vision, but but you see here how he runs his feet, runs his feet, sees the target, accelerates to the target, runs his feet through contact and through the target. That's exactly what you want to do as a defensive lineman. And I like that we're seeing competitive reps. We're seeing competitive, competitive reps. And... I just think he's so athletic for a guy of his size, all right? And he could put on weight. He, he could play inside as a tackle as well. I think he could play inside as a tackle and could even go up to like 25, 30 pounds and could still play at this level. This is junior year tape. Look at this move. I mean, look at this lateral move, how he crosses the guard's face, right? Because he's lined up right here. Let's see where he's lined up. So right there would be a zero, one, I want to say probably like a three. This is like a four, I would say. Uh, right by right by the guard. Yeah, right outside of the guard, I would say is like, believe it's a four. You guys can correct me if it's a three. This is the C gap. This is the A gap right here, B gap, I would say. Uh, so again, just like learning football. So again, I'm not a thousand percent. I'm not going to pretend to be a thousand percent an expert on D line play, but that's why you guys can watch this video. So here, the thing is he jumps left. Like I like that acceleration off of the tape. Then I like the hand. Then I like how he uses his hands. I like how he has great vision because this play is running away from him. The first move is he's inside. This play is running away from Aiden Breland. But Breland then, for a guy his size, 300-pound guy, 6'5", for him to be able to track this down and sprint in that short area quickness, that's elite. That's why he's a five-star player. Now I think he's an I-5. Now he's an edge rusher purely. And watch how he closes. Like, this is the type of stuff you see from Georgia Bulldog players. Not necessarily Pac-12 Oregon players. And that's what I'm talking about, Aiden. So that's, I'm really excited to see this guy play. Unblocked and blows up plays. A game wrecker potential player. All right, now he's an edge. So he can line up at the edge. All right. I like this play a lot. I like this play a lot because, first of all, the tackle here gets good depth, right? Good depth. Tackle here is in really good shape. But what's he going to do? It's a straight bull rush. So he utilizes his leverage, right? Gets beneath the tackle. Low man wins. Again, powerful, powerful leg drive. Powerful lower body. Pushes the tackle back into the quarterback. Then he has the vision. He has great vision and instinct. So when the quarterback or the running back decides to get up into the pocket, that's when Breland attacks. And then bam. 
He seizes and attacks pretty good. I don't know about his wingspan, but this is very athletic. Very athletic. I mean, that looks like wingspan that's plenty good enough to make plays. Slings the quarterback to the ground. All right? I think he, like, judging by this tape, I think he has an all right wingspan, but I think there's edge rushers that maybe have more. He is a hybrid edge, but you can also play him inside as a D tackle, and he's so twitchy. He's going to be a monster, like, even as a D tackle playing, like, a three technique right off of the guard. You know, attacking A gap, attacking B gap. Here he's outside, I-5. Bam! I mean, just, he flat out makes him whip. Look at at this. Oh, oh, oh. I'm stumbling home from the bar. Got to go get a hot dog. Gas station hot dog. I'm stumbling. That's what Aiden Breland does there. And listen, I give the kid credit. I'm just having fun. I mean, it's so hard to be able to block a five-star. So that kid in high school has already done more than I'll ever do on a football field. But we're having fun on the channel. Just a great move. And finishes. Causes an interception. There you go. You don't have to be that good in the secondary if your pass pass rush is really good. Let's see, pretty good. Oh, great get off, too. I mean, the guy can do it all. He can also play as an edge rusher, too. So you could put Breland on the other side of rushing with, with, with Yuga Langalale. I, I think he has more versatility than anybody on the D-line. I really do, because at 6'5", 320, he could play as a, as a tackle. So you can have DJ U, you can have Mateo U, Yuga Langalale, you can have Mateo U, and then you can also have, like, Elijah rushing, and maybe your Blake purchases and all these like linebackers coming off the edge and you can have um and you can have like Aiden playing in the middle of the defense I'm not going to say he's going to be a zero nose guard that's not him he's not going to be a zero nose guard he's not 360 6 three, 360 but he could definitely play like your he could he could probably play like a, like a one technique but he could definitely probably play three technique right on the other side of the guard so he's really versatile and for Tosh and Dan Lanning and Tony T Tony Toyoti they're going to be able to you know they're going to be able to utilize and put put the puzzle together with Breland, all right? And that's what's going to be so much fun. So, again, they're really recruiting California well. Aiden Breland, everything is advertised. This D-line, you got rushing, you got Breland. Now I'm going to review Jericho Johnson coming up next on the channel. Another huge pull by Oregon. And, I mean, with Mateo, looking like an absolute stud M- Mateo you you uh this D line looks ready to hunt and be one of the best in the country